take a look at creating an IBSS or internet base station service survey style in Trimble Access 2023.10. So I have Trimble Access open. The first thing we need to do is tap the menu button at the top left and then we'll tap settings and survey styles. So we're going to create a new survey style. So tap the new button at the bottom of the screen and enter in a style name. I'm just going to call this IBSS. And the survey style type is going to be GNSS, so we can leave that. And we'll tap enter and accept down at the bottom right. Now the first thing we need to edit are the rover options, so tap that at the top of the list. Our survey type will be RTK, and our broadcast format is going to be CMRX. The type of antenna I'm using for this example will be an R12i internal. But if you're using something different, you can tap the drop down menu and choose your antenna out of the list. We'll choose the appropriate measure to, in this case, since I'm using an R12i, we'll use the bottom of quick release. And if you're using a fixed height pole, you can just type in the antenna height there. Serial number is optional, so I'm not going to enter it in this case. Uh, if you're using something like an R12i, you'll have tilt options. If you're not using an R12i, you're not gonna have the tilt options here. I'm gonna leave my IMU tilt compensation on. You can leave your e-bubble on if you want to see the e-bubble on the screen. Not going to use the AR viewer in this example, so I'll uncheck that. Don't have to worry about the station index when we're using an internet survey. Elevation mask will stay at 10 degrees. P-dot mask will stay at 6.0. And then we'll scroll on down to the GNSS signal tracking. Go ahead and check all the boxes under signal tracking. Now, you might not get all these signals depending on where you are in the world but go ahead and check them all that way if they are available you'll get everything you can when you're out there in the field our roving precision is gonna stay uh, auto tolerance set to yes and you can leave the xfill box checked if you want to what this does is if you were to lose your internet connection for a minute or two while you're surveying this will fall back and use corrections from trimble's satellite-based correction service to allow you to keep working for up to a couple of minutes there. So we'll tap accept down at the bottom right and now we'll take a look at our rover data link. So just tap that in the list. We'll change the type over from radio to internet connection and then tap the black arrow next to GNSS correction source to choose that. The nice thing about uh, Trimble Access 2023.10 is all your IBSS correction information is already built into the software, so you don't have to know your IP address, your port, usernames, passwords, things like that. You just choose IBSS, tap accept, and it's going to automatically use the uh, internet source there at your controller. So we can just tap accept and now take a look at our base options. So under base options, our survey type is still going to be RTK. We're going to use CMRX as our broadcast format. I'm going to be using a Trimble R12i for my base. Just select what uh, whatever antenna you're using here. Now you do have to have an antenna and receiver that has Wi-Fi capability like an R12 and R12i, something along those lines. Um, so we'll choose measure two, bottom of quick release in this case. And if you're using a fixed height tripod, you can put in your antenna height there. If you're using a tripod, just a regular tripod with a tri bracket and an adapter, you might want to leave that blank because the height's going to be a little bit different every time, right? Serial number, we can leave blank. It's optional. Again, we don't need to worry about the station index. We can leave our elevation mask at 10 degrees and go ahead and check all the boxes down here for GNSS signal tracking. I'll tap accept down at the bottom right. And now we'll take a look at our base data link. We're going to change the type over from radio to internet connection and tap the black arrow next to GNSS correction source and choose IBSS again. Again, the nice thing is all those settings are already built into Trimble Access. So all we have to do is choose them automatically out of the software, hit accept. Now for the base, we do have to choose an internet source. It's not going to auto populate like it did for the rover. And in this case, we're going to choose receiver internet Wi-Fi because we're going to leave like phone with a hotspot or a MiFi hotspot there at the base station in order for the receiver to connect to it and broadcast our corrections to the internet, to the rover. So we'll choose receiver internet, Wi-Fi, tap accept, 
and tap accept again. Now that's all we have to set up for our IBSS survey style. So we'll tap store down at the bottom, tap escape, and our IBSS survey style is all set up.